Hey guys, so I just got back from work and I'm gonna go cook up that squirrel that you saw in my last video. Okay, so this is what I got. Got some onion powder, some garlic powder, some chili powder, some cayenne pepper, and some thyme. And I also got some crushed red pepper. And then the flour. And an egg. Okay, so now I'm going to get into making the breading for the squirrel. And I've done this before and it turns out really good. Um, it, it tends to hold in a lot of the moisture of the squirrel and cook it in its own juices basically. So, I have this here and I'm just going to put a good amount of flour in the bowl. That's probably good considering the amount of squirrel that I have. So with the flour now, we're going to throw in a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder. Now for the chili powder, I'm going to put quite a bit because I want it to come out pretty spicy. Got some cayenne pepper. Got just a little bit of thyme It's going to go in here. I'm going to throw in some crushed red pepper. Because I found that this really works well with the oil and it almost like infuses with the oil and I've thought before about taking a lot of crushed red pepper and a lot of oil and just letting it simmer on the stove for a little while and then straining out the crushed red pepper and keeping the oil I don't know it tastes really good and it, it, I actually did that to start the last time that I made squirrel or fried it up like this you can check out the pictures on my Instagram and on my Twitter and I'll put links to both of those below. Okay, so now we're just going to put some olive oil here. Beautiful. This is how the, the top chefs in the restaurants do it. Okay, so as the oil is heating up, I'm going to start breading these. Just got to dry them all first. Got some really little pieces here. But, this was a red squirrel also, so generally a lot smaller than the gray squirrels. There's, there's a little breast. <laughs> okay, that is, that is all of the squirrel right there. Right after I'm done coating the squirrel bits, I want to throw them right on the grill because I don't really have a spot to just let them sit while I do all of them. So I'm going to let them sit right on the grill. This is fantastic. I should make a big batch of this just, you know, to have every time I get a squirrel or rabbit. So here we go. I'm going to take the first leg, put it in the egg, just get it coated. Oh, God, it gets slippery. And then, boom. Okay. Look at that. Is it going to focus? Yeah, there we go. This is a nice coating. Okay, now... We're just going to take it from here and beautiful. Now let's do that with the rest of them. Now we have the deboned parts. We got the chest right here, or, or I should say the breast. It's very small, but it cooks up really, really tender. Now 
Then we got all these cooking up here. Um, this was the first one that I threw on. And that's what the back side of it looks like. It's just starting to brown. I don't know, you cook enough squirrels and you get pretty good at it. But it's nice because th this is just like cooking in general. So this translates over to several different kinds of animals. I mean, I, I've even noticed I've gotten better at cooking fish because of this. This is really all that there is to it. There isn't, I don't know, there's not really a secret to cooking it like this. Now, if I wasn't gonna bread it, as you can see in my, I think it's the rabbit hunt, the nugget edition, where I cut it into nuggets, I actually use Worcestershire sauce. And if you're not gonna bread it, that is easily my favorite way to cook them. But to cook it like this, I mean, squirrel, you don't want it to dry out and overcooking it can easily, easily do that. But if you bread it like this and just cook it on a little bit of oil, you generally don't have that problem. And you can cook your squirrel much more than you would uh, normally. Now there are some pieces I'll stand up like this on end, just to make sure it gets cooked and fried like all the way around. All right, just to finish these off, um, really brown them up. I'm gonna kick the fire up a bit. Now you wanna be gentle early on just cause you don't want the breading to fall off, but once they get to this point where they're really crisp enough, you can kind of just push them around and Make sure that they don't actually burn, but just, you know, get like a nice golden color. Like that right there. Okay, I got my plate here. I'm just going to take these really small bits off because I know that they're cooked all the way. Might leave the legs on for just a few more minutes, or maybe another, I don't know, minute and a half or so. Yeah, these are really starting to get that, that dark golden color now. That's what you want to see. You don't even have to cut into something like rabbit or squirrel to make sure that it's done if you fry it like this. You can really just tell from the outside. And I don't know, these don't have much longer to go at all. Okay, I'm gonna start taking these off. A big part of me enjoying my food is how it looks. Now, I probably won't use it so much on the legs, but for the smaller squirrel bits, I'm going to put just a little, oh, that's a lot, <laughs> a little bit of barbecue sauce. This is the best. They have several different kinds of this, um, different flavors, and they're all amazing. And then one final touch. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley over this. And there we go. Squirrel a la fried. You know, I could charge a lot of money for something like this in a restaurant or like a rabbit or something with a side of veggies. I've thought about that. I've thought about starting my own restaurant, but there's a lot of red tape obviously to go through and I don't want to deal with that hassle. So for now, I'll just keep cooking for you guys. Here it is. Well, I'm going to enjoy it now and see how it tastes. Yeah. It's 
grab one of these tenderloins here. That is amazing. Got a little kick too from that breading. That worked out exactly how I wanted. I'm going to sit down and enjoy the rest of this. Hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys make this. If you do, uh, be sure to send me a picture or something. You know, I, I got my social medias. So reach out. If you guys ever make any dish that, that looks really awesome, send it to me. And if you have any recipes that I got to try, let me know. I've already heard some for, um, I got one for Welsh rabbit. I got one for roasting a crow. So I got to get a crow now. But anyways, uh, if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. So I'm sitting here enjoying this with one of my favorite YouTube channels, Deer Meat for Dinner. And just look at this meat. Just look at how beautifully that cooked all the way through. You can see it's really moist on the inside there. This is fantastic.